Uh, hello, everyone. Uh, today, I will talk to you about the, the relationships that we build with human-like technologies and how, how this might impact us as, as consumers. So the, our digital companions are uh, increasingly, uh, they, they, occupy more, uh, they, they, they occupy larger and more intimate spaces in our daily routines. Uh, and as, as technology becomes more central in our lives, uh, we are in an era where m more and more technologies uh, are, they incorporate more human-like features. And this is, this is reshaping how we interact with technologies and how we connect with these technologies. So in our research uh, that we did on, on voice assistants like Alexa, uh, we found that uh, th the relationships that we build with human-like technologies, they may elicit uh, a feeling of threat to our human identity as a result of their perceived human likeness. And uh, we found that this, uh, this effect was, was more pronounced if these relationships were, were closer and longer. So uh, we define a relationship with technology as closer if it involves more, more personal and more consequential tasks. And we also found that this, this increased threat to human identity, it led to, it, it triggered greater privacy concerns in, in consumers, and it, it subsequently it also diminished their well-being. So, uh, uh, based, on this, based on this insight that we got from, from the first study, we, we thought about what we can do to, to mitigate this, this uh, undesirable effect that we see on consumers, and, uh, and we, 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 in a field experiment, we, we designed and tested three simple intervention uh, strategies. Uh, in, the, in the first intervention uh, group, the, the consumers simply read a text uh, the, describing, describing a feature, a data-related feature of their device. In the, in the second intervention group, uh, we, on top of this test, they, they, we also gave them some information about how they can change their settings on, this device, on their device about this feature. And then, and then on the third intervention group, we also gave them, uh, we, we also explicitly requested them to change their settings on the device for this feature and use the device with these settings. And it's, our interventions were, were quite simple. It's just, uh, uh, just, some, just some, a series of screenshots just showing exactly how you can change your settings. Uh, and uh, and in, the, in the third intervention condition, we also asked them to do that. And what we found was that uh, our interventions were successful in, in, uh, in empowering the consumers in, in their relationship with technology. And, uh, and what we saw was that the, the strongest effect was when they, when they actually took action, when they actually went ahead and changed their settings uh, in their device. So the, the, the takeaway message is that uh, I think even, even with rudimentary uh, interventions like this, they, they simply read text. They just saw some, some screenshots, right? Uh, they, they can be significant. And uh, I, we believe that companies can do much more. They can, they can use a much more refined uh, intervention techniques, uh, maybe integrate privacy dialogues with Alexa, right? Uh, so uh, we believe that this is, this is possible and this is uh, as uh, technology is more central in our, in our lives, we together uh, must find different ways to, to empower consumers uh, in, their, in their relationship with technology. And in this particular context, um, we believe that a, a, a consumer-centric data relationship management uh, can be the ideal way to, 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 to build mutually beneficial relationships uh, uh, with well-informed consumers. Thank you.